Hello and welcome to another review by Hamby Value Tech Review. In this video I'll be reviewing this uh, Technic set number 42037. It has turned out to be what it is, actually is, is a hill climb vehicle. And before, uh, I didn't know this initially, I just thought it was some sort of um, off-road, uh, uh, I suppose you would call it monster truck or whatever I was unsure what I, what the vehicle was actually but now that I know that what the vehicle is I've I actually have liked it a wee bit more and uh, because I have to say the I don't think this picture actually does it justice the box does not do the model justice it's actually quite a big uh, model when you see it and so in the box we have uh, obviously um, it's a two in one build and this is the actual uh, hill climb vehicle shown and it has the steering up here. I bought this from Smith's Toy Store and it was £45 uh, which I suppose is quite a, quite a bit of money but uh, um, certainly there are deer models out there um, and this uh, so it, it was fairly expensive I suppose uh, in a way. Um, just show you around the box. There's the size of that's sort of emulating the size of the wheels. Although I think they're, yeah, one to one. Uh, although the tires are absolutely huge. Uh, so that was around the bottom of the box and around the back of the box we have this is the two and one. As I said, this is the second. This is the second build. Uh, some sort of um, racer. Some sort of. Um, uh, some sort of racer uh, it is um, sort of dragster if you like drag racing vehicle it looks quite nice too uh, the second build looks quite neat and uh, uh, it's certainly likeable and um, so I'll just put the box to the side for now as I've said that's uh, model number 42037 set number 42037 uh, so this is the actual model itself um, I was fairly impressed with it um, it's got some nice uh, stickers, decals, and I like stickers on my Lego. Um, I also like the, uh, obviously it has the Technics engine, the Technic engine, and uh, I am a big fan of Lego Technic engines, and uh, this one is no different. It's smooth and it's, it works really well. Uh, the tires are typical Lego, real nice, soft rubber. Uh, tires and the wheels are real nice too and the whole thing came together very well I mean it's really sturdy and uh, it has suspension um, which is quite stiff suspension um, but it's, it's nice and it seems to be uh, suitable for it um, I like the bull bar at the front uh, I like these exhausts too that's probably the way these vehicles look um, the seat, uh, the nice thing about the seat, the seat is real nice, and the cockpit I should I should add is real. I really like the cockpit, and the uh, this is the uh, what do you call it, a roll cage. So you can lift up the roll cage uh, like that, and then there's your seat in there, and you can fold your seat up, and fold your seat back, and you have a steering wheel here. This was the only downside. It's a half steering wheel, but that's not the downside. The downside is that it's not connected to the wheels. I would have liked to have seen that. You know, it's a bit more technical. Uh, technic, sorry, a bit, a bit more technic pieces would have, uh, and cogs and gears would have, you know, been nice to see that there. But obviously, it, maybe it wasn't doable in this model because of the, the engine or something. So I like the lights. They're quite nice. And uh, I like the colours and decals are quite nice uh, as you can see there it says uh, hill sorry fast climb if you can see that there uh, come on uh, fast fast climb fast, uh, fast climb and uh, some other nice details uh, number 65 and nut and bolt and optimizers and stuff like that there so yeah, there's plenty of stickers um, on the model itself. Um, the roll cage is quite class. The uh, on the bottom we have the full. Uh, sorry, not a. Uh, it's not four wheel drive. Uh, these must. These must. 
be in real life two wheel rear wheel drive uh, this is a differential uh, gearbox so that's nice working differential as you know uh, if I move this wheel this way the other wheel moves in the opposite direction that's a standard differential uh, so very nice very sturdy as I've said uh, I mean this you get really I don't see anything you know it's so sturdy as it's unreal what I'm interested in is uh, obviously oh sorry I should uh, point out the steering uh, is oh, activated by this uh, cog up here so, so that's pretty direct steering and it's proper steering right is right and left is left um, I'll show you the Bombay O set which wasn't that way um, so for £45 it was okay um, what's interesting with me is these two red pegs here red there and there now I think Lego has in mind this could actually be a radio controlled you know it certainly could accept the power functions it has space in there for it to accept the uh, power functions so I could I could certainly see uh, um, you know the infrared receivers and the, you know could even go radio controls you know with the full Lego radio control system um, so it'd be nice to see if Lego publishes something like that um, so for forty five pound quite a nice model quite a nice model I just want to show you the comparable Bombeo model which was I suppose a similar uh, no, not really a similar vehicle off another off-road vehicle and this cost about 27 pounds this first from Bombeo now obviously the engines are nowhere near as the, the quality of the Lego uh, engine but uh, I do like the uh, I did like the one nice thing that this if that, sorry if there's one thing that this model that lets this model down it is that steering wheel that's not connected you know in the in the in the, in the cockpit and um, whereas if you look in the Bombeo set, uh, if you just look at the steering wheel there, you can see it uh, the steering wheel moving as uh, I turn the, <coughs> the the cog at the top here. So this was a nice little set too, and sort of stiff enough springs too, you know. Um, so just it was just to show you that there, and the seat moves up and that too. So it's just to show you um, in comparison. So that sort of concludes my review of the Lego um, the Lego set 42037. Thanks for watching folks. Okay, bye.